difficult because nobody teaches you what money is. It's, it's simultaneously one of the more fundamental technologies we have, uh, social constructs, cultural constructs we have in society, and yet nobody actually teaches what it is. Unless you go to an economic school, and even there, um, it's the fundamentals of money um, are not really taught. Uh, so anybody who gets involved in Bitcoin has to re-examine their assumptions about what money is. Mm -hmm. Because if all the money you know has a physical presence, such as paper, and suddenly you are presented with money that has no physical presence, then you have to say, well, is physical presence a necessary attribute of money? All the money you know have been made by a government or a king. Mm -hmm. Um, is an authority, a government or a king, necessary to, for money to have value? Uh, all the money you know is associated with a nation. Is a nation necessary for money to have value? And you start asking these questions. What is really necessary for money to work? What are the prerequisites? And things like Bitcoin they challenge all of the assumptions you have. And if you really just start looking at it, you realize that money is simply an abstraction. Money isn't value. It doesn't contain value itself. Uh, the value is in the things you exchange for money, the products, the services. Money is simply a way of expressing that value to each other. And if you think of money as a form of expression, then you conclude that it is a language. It's an abstract symbolism, a set of symbols used to convey value to each other and to coordinate at scale. Uh, so to allow society to operate at a scale larger than a village, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where you don't know people, um, and yet you need to trade with them, and you need a common language to, ex to express value, just like you need a common language to be able to understand each other. And so once you understand that it's a language, then the question of will there only be one uh, makes no sense. Mm -hmm. uh, why would you only have one? Different people evolve languages differently for different uses. Um, People don't simply change languages so easily. With money, you can change a bit more easily, but still, there is no reason why one would dominate everything. Uh, there will be money that is better for some uses than others, that is engineered to have certain attributes more than other attributes. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing is this great flourishing of different forms of currencies and money, uh, which exists as symbols for different values. Uh, and I, I think that's difficult to understand at first, because we're used to having one money in each country. That's the one, and you don't question why it's the one, or whether there could be others. Uh, and unless you travel to another country, you'd never see other money. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is a historical anomaly. That's not how money has always been. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's only a recent thing. Uh, just a few hundred years that money has operated like that. Uh, so now we have money that isn't based on a nation. It's global, and maybe that's how money always was and will always be. And the couple hundred years where it was a nation-based system is the anomaly. Mm -hmm. So again, this is technology really forces you to question your assumptions.